Hello and welcome to this session. So in this session, we're going to look at how to create book covers on Canva. So if you are into KDP publishing, you realize that book covers and keywords are important in terms of getting your book out there for people to see and buy. Because if a book cover is not good, people will not buy. If you don't have keywords, you will not see the book covers, no matter how good your book cover is. So you look at the keywords, how to search for keywords in one of the videos. But today, let's focus on how to create your book covers for paperback specifically. So first of all, there are different ways that you can create book covers. Like that, you can use different softwares like InDesign, PowerPoint, Photoshop, whatever you're conversant with, you can use that. But pretty sure this formula is almost the same if you want to get the best out of it. So let's look at some of the covers, simple covers that you can just, so these are all covers that you see here. Uh, notebook covers, notebook simple covers are there for you to see. And you see just like a cover like this is a cover. Someone has done this and the best is making more sense. And this is also another cover. So these are covers that people just pick uh, backgrounds and they are able to upload things. So this notebook, it's a background, black background, and something like this one too, it's just a background. But you can also do that. And uh, to do that, let's look at how to do it. So first of all, the platform you're using is canva.com. So canva.com, so this is Canva. So you just go to Canva, type in Canva, uh, canva.com, and you get it. So first you create an account, you can create an account or you can log in with your, you can log in with your listing, uh, what's the name? Your Facebook or any platform. So this is a website that you can create a lot of images, like different things that you can create with and uh, use this for. So, but today we're going to use it for, to create our own design. So once you come here, you see that it has its own ways. There are different things that you can do with this. It has its own templates. But here, because we're dealing with uh, paperback, you may need to, you need to get the size of the paperback on Amazon. So you need to know the number of pages you have your, for your interior one and the size of the book. So the sizes of the book, we have different sizes, but we use mainly two types more. We have six by nine inches and we have 8.5 by 11 inches, which I'll explain to you more about. You get to understand that. So first you do custom design. So once you, you are on Canva like this, you log in, you sign up and you log in, you do custom the size. And the custom size comes here. You pick pixels, we have width and height, but we're not using this. We are using inches. So to get the inches to fill in, to get the right design, all you need to do is to type in uh, on this side, we have KDP cover template. So once you do KDP cover template, you enter and you get it on. Then you do book cover template. So the first thing that appears on Google has no competition. So you just do book cover template. Then you click on it. So there's a, a this is how it looks like. So it's a KDP soft uh, website, and they give you the template that they want you to publish on their platform. So you need to follow strictly the size of the template that you are going to publish so that you don't make mistakes or they don't get to, you don't get to reject it over and over so you have to redo it so first you select the size that you want trim size of your book so then we look at like these are all trim sizes of different books that you can publish on kdp amazon but we we're using six by nine if you are selling more in america you use six by nine, like especially notebooks. You can also do 8.5 by 11. So for sketchbooks and for other books that are like bigger in size. And for, there are books that you do 8.2 by 
8.25 by 6. And those are guest books, invitation guest books, wedding guest books and stuff, visitors guest books. But for now, we focus on 8.5 and 6 by 9 inches, which is the popular, like majority of books have the size. So you click on this, select this 6 by 9 inches, then you put the pages, number of pages that you want to create your book in. How many pages do you want to create your book? How many pages is your book? So once you do, I do normally like 100, 110, and 120 sometimes because I don't want to like spend much in terms of printing costs and stuff. So I let's use 110 pages. Once you do 110 pages, all you need to do is to download this. Click on download. So once you download, you see that it will uh, it will download it here like this one. It's going to download. Don't discard it, but just uh, go in and download it. It's going to look like this. And uh, it's a, always a WinRAR file. So there are two sides. Choose the, once you open it, you open the 6 by 9. It will tell you the size. 6 by 9, it will tell you the number of pages. So you click on this. You can save this one. Extract this to your any folder maybe specifically to your desktop. So once you do extract it to desktop, then you can, you can do okay, it will extract it to desktop. So you come onto your desktop and you open this. And you open that. So once you come onto your desktop, you see it, it's here. This is it, you open it, Right, so this is, you right click it and open it in any photo editing uh, site. So I'm going to use paint to open this one. So all what we are trying to do is to get the size to fit in on Canva. So we open this, open, like I'm using paint because I can use paint to do that. So open it like this, then you reduce the size. Can reduce the size so that you can manage it. So now, this is how it looks like. So once it comes on to you want to publish it on KDP, it's going to pretty look like this. You can see this is the back side and the front aspect of it. This is the back and front. So we want to do the calculation so that once you publish here, you don't get to cut it off. If there's text and there's text here, you don't need to cut it off. So you need to add all and calculate. So let's go back to our trim size. Uh, okay, so this is how it is. So this is the calculations for this trim size that we are going to include in uh, use in Canva. So the first one, which is this one, that's the spine. Is uh, the spine is 0 0.25? 0 0.25. So that's the spine. So it has a calculation of 0 0.25. So 0, 0 0.25. Right. So let me just erase it and use a more qualified distance. A more distant to do it. So let's write it, just write it here. So the trim size is 0 0.25, 0 0.25, which is here, which is this one. So now they're telling us that this one, this size is six. So each of the sizes like this size, this size is six, this size is six. So this size, the whole of this size is six. So you add a six. That's what we are going to use to do the calculation. So tell us that this is six. So that is this size. The whole of this is six. That is the weight of it, is six. Then this side is also six. So take care of that. So that's six. So already that one is known. 
to this one and this to this one this is the size six and this is six also here but there's another addition so as you can see here you need to make sure that you add some calculations to it that once they are printing they don't cut off your text you can just pick the six by what to do your calculations but you need to add the spin size and all those things to be able to get a better template so now what we do is this one you a six is a 0 0.2125 normally once you are the 0 0.125 no one you not see this anywhere but you just need to take it from me that is 0 0.125 which has the edges so that's the size of the, the trim size of these edges is 0 0.125 then the same applies to this one uh this edges which is also 0 0.125 0 0.125 0 0.125 so now we have all the calculations for the edges this one is 0. Point, sorry so this size this size is 0 0.125 this side is also 0 0.125 this one which is here is 0 0.25 and this size is also 6. So you need to add all of them. You need to add all of them so that you can be able to what, extract and use it for your uh, KDP cover. So we add this plus this plus this plus this plus this will give us the width of the inches of the width. So let's get calculator to calculate it. We're gonna give us a calculator, like just a simple calculator to do a calculation of it. So this is a calculator. So first we add 0 0.125, this one. So 0 0.125 plus six, this is six plus six, okay plus 0 0.25 this one plus 0 0.25 then you add this other 6 to plus 6 this one then you add the final 0 0.125 plus 0 0.125 and we have 12.5 so take note of this you can screenshot this and use this as your calculations always. That is if you are doing six by nine inches and it is 110 pages, 120 pages or 130, 50 pages may have a different spine, which you need to take care of. So the differences always, always all the time is the spine. You need to add a spine and you need to get the spine based on that. So we have 12.5. So we, we are going to send the 12.5, which is the width onto our Canva platform. So width, once you come here, it's going to be PX pixels initially. So once you do the custom size, it's going to be PX. You change it to inches. You change it to inches. So once you do your first calculation, which is 12.5, our first calculation is 12.5, right? So let's put that in here, 12.5. And we go in for our height. So now we are looking for our height. And how do you get the height? The height is already known. So this is all the, the height is this one. From this side to this side is the height. So it's the same. It applies the same. And that is nine inches. That one is just simple to know. So nine inches. So the height here is nine inches. So the total height for this is nine. So it's nine inches. So it's just nine inches. So that applies to this side and this. So the height from here, this side to this, this side to this, all is just nine inches. So we take the nine, but we need to add this ones to you. So you see the same the principle still applies to this one. Even though the total, this one we had to do two, one plus this, but this one is just one cast across because you don't need to cut it off. So it's nine. So the width is nine it's nine inches then we do here plus we add 0 0.125 which is here 
which is this size, this side, like so that you don't cut it all the text that are here off. Then you add another text, which is plus 0 0.25, 0 0.125 rather, 0 0.125. Then you add that one too. So that goes in for the height. So today you can see that the mathematics you did in school is now coming to play. So here you don't add any spine because there's no spine here. There's no spine between this, this lines. There's no spine here. There's nothing like spine here. The spine is only applies to when you are doing the calculation for this the, uh, weight. So 0 0.125 plus 0 0.125. So let's do the calculation for this. So we're going to do the calculations for this. We're going to do the calculations for this. So let's clear this one. So first you add a 0 0.125, 0 0.125. Sorry, it is too, uh, just by 0 0.125. Then you add here plus, Nine, the whole distance uh, width is nine. The original width is nine. So plus nine, plus 0 0.125, this one, plus this one, 0 0.125, plus 0. Point, oh, sorry. Let's cut, cut it off, 0 0.125. So let's do it again. I think I canceled it in a way. So it's 0 0.125, 0 0.125 plus 9 which is this one which is this 9 plus 0 0.125 which will give us 9.25. So we go to our we go to our come back to Canva and put in the inches, 9.25, 9.25. So once you do this, you do create new design. It's going to give you the size, exact size that you can upload on KDP, or you can use it on different platforms or different books. So it's going to give you the same, the size that you want. You can see pretty sure is the size that we want to use. This is a normal size for your KDP books. So once we have the size, which so now it's now time for action. You can upload, you can upload the, this one, this template. You can upload this template, same template that you've downloaded from KDP onto Canva so that you just, it will cover it and you can be able to, it can guide you as the first step. So I'm just going to save this as six by nine. Okay. Okay, so let's just save it six by nine and you upload it to Canva. So uploads, you do uploads and uh, you bring this one. So we're going to get a six by nine this time onto Canva. So this what is it. So once we have it, we can just use it for the purpose that we want because it's going to guide you to be able to do your margins and all those stuff. So, but the difficult part is getting the size. So once you get the size, you can pretty just upload it and straight, you can just drag it to fill. It's going to fill perfect onto this. So you have your, perhaps a first new cover coming up. So if you want to do, uh, maybe you want to do have your name on the spine or the name of the book on the spine this is where you write it in right but this is where the uh, the front cover is and this is the back cover and this is where they are coded so you don't allow text to be here you don't you don't need to put text here but you can put it within this inside of this so you can see our calculations this 0 0.125 is just here just to make sure you don't cut it off here and this 0 0.25 is the spine, 0 0.125 is this, this one. And this one is also 0 0.125 is this and this. So that's how you get the size. So in order to start working on this, you can go to, just click on it, 
click on the transparent background. You should make sure that you make it transparent, like that you don't, your text will not interfere with this. And you can start designing anything. You can start doing your designs so that you uh, careful not to add in any text. Your text don't overlap here or not, or, or, or it doesn't go above this. So you can start working on it. Just you can also leave it like this and work on it. Once you finish, you can delete this, or you can uh, make sure that it's not discoverable again. So maybe let's do our first interior. Like we're going to do our first kind of a book cover, which is uh, someone should just suggest something for me to do. So we're going to do a notebook interior, notebook cover. But we're going to make it sure that it's a nice cover than all that we have here. So we're going to do a notebook cover. So all you need to do also, you go to elements. You can go to elements and pick this one. So go to shapes and pick this size. So once you pick it, you can just put it on here so that you be careful about what you do and you don't want to interfere with the margins stipulated by uh, Amazon. You don't want to write in here or there. So once you get it here, you copy it and you paste. Just copy it like normal copying and you paste it. You put it here, boom, you have a size that you, you, you be able to what? do things without getting into this size but you can extend it to just be straight on the lines extend this to like get to straight on the lines and once you have this pretty sure you can maneuver and do a lot with this so we have our first listen here you can just leave it or put anything on it text so that you can create your uh, what is it? The spin of it. If you have your name on the spin, you can create that. So now, all you need to do is you can add text to this. You can add text to this, and you can quite make sure you blur this one out. So you click on it. Just make sure that you click on that. You blur it out so that it's not seen. So you've blurred it out. It's not seen now. And no one will see it again. But anytime you can always go back and refer to it. So first, maybe you want to do a black cover, a black cover to this. So you can do a black cover or this cover. We want to do this type of cover. No, let's make it black. You can make it black. And uh, based on the type of book you want, you can just leave the margins or the, the, the spine like this, but we're doing paperback. Uh, we're doing low content books. So we may not need a spine. We may not put, need to put any spine here. So we can blacken this one too. We can blacken this, make sure we blacken it so that it will fit here, right? But that will also cause confusion. So make sure that, so work on it once you are done, you can blacken it. Once you are done and you know that you are within the parameters of Amazon, then you can blacken it. So let's add text to this. You add text to this. You add text. So once you go here, here, you add, you see text, then you do text, you add heading. Then maybe what we need to do is to just put it notebook. Notebook. So add that here. You, once you start dragging it, you see that it will give you the margins, give you the middle of the two sides so that you don't also go across and above whatever it is. So once you have the text, you can reduce the size of this text by going up here to reduce the size of it. The 62, that's too big. We make it like a bit and you can make it caps. Right, then you can change the, the text formats. 
maybe one this let, let's you can change the fonts the fonts we have different font sizes that you can change so you we need to just keep changing until the one that is good for you your brand then i want okay let me see this one okay so maybe i want this type because this looks old school and i like old school things so pretty sure you can just post this like that and this is you can just do this post this as this one this is almost the same type that we do so you this is a cover so we can have this cover this like same cover like just use this one put it here you can also make sure that the text like change the text list and so we have our first book cover so once you know you are done with the designs you can put this one here you can also put this one in the spine so that so you copy it you paste so once you copy and paste it, you, you turn it, you bring it to the spine. So you can reduce the size here. And you can also go here to the zoom to re increase it so that you can have a better view of it. Because you, the spine is small. And if you don't work on it well, Amazon may reject it. You can turn it, turn the text. Just hold on to that size. You turn it and you get to make sure that so this so this is quite okay then once you have you can change the color so they can see it well so they can see it well then you can drag it to whichever size or type place that you want so it could be your name but make sure that it's small and it's in the middle so the amazon will not give, get a reason to reject your book for nothing so once you have this, you can go back to fit. So I'm going to fit it. So we have our uh, this thing. So you can see here, even here, you can't work on it again. But you can go back and increase it so that you can get hold of it. And I still work on this. So here, you can just also leave it white, make it white which you will not see now. And uh, you make the whole background white because you are done with your cover. Then let's make it black, the original color. Sorry. Sorry, it is, it is going to select this one. So let's, we, we're going to work on this. We want to work on this. So, uh, the, the, outside color so we make it black you see that so fit so you see that we have our notebook so this is the spine and this is the web the front cover so you can download this you can just download this but make sure it is pdf once you go to download app make sure it's pdf standard or pdf print i normally use pdf print so you just download it. So once you download it, it's going to be in PDF, and you can open and look at it to see your own designs, to see your first design. So this is how it looks in PDF. You can see how it, nice it is in PDF. Then once you are uploading this on uh, KDP, you just pick the document, the file, and straight you upload it in. So let's go back and work on this a little. So maybe if I want to bring up and put an image to this, I want to add an image to this. So we're still going to work on the same margins. Make it white. Uh, like so that we know that this is our margins. We don't work on this and that. But I want to bring an image. I want to bring an image here. What do I do? I can just go to uploads and pick any image like just click on any image you, you may already have images pre-existing images i downloaded this on pixabay so you can just put that do any image here to create a nice design 
or uh, up there to give you a feel of or a nice touch that you want. So you can add this image here. Maybe you are doing a case book and you want to get on uh, any case activity things. You can add anything that you want. So maybe a unicorn, you're working with unicorn. And you want to add a unicorn feature to it. So all you need to do is to go to pixabay.com. So pixabay, it's where you can get most of the images for free. They do unicorn. You can get different unicorns. So let's pick one of them. Let's pick one of them and download it. And we'll put it in our text. So you just, I want this one. It's free to use. Yes, I say this is what I want. So we're going to use unicorn, upload it, and use it to our notebook. So it is downloaded, rabbit. So you go to your downloads device, downloads, and you just get the latest one that has come in, the rabbit. So once you click on it, it will upload itself. I'm pretty sure we can use this to do our designs. So you can click on this, keep adding, keep exploring to do many designs. You can go on to KDP. So this one is ready. We we'll pick it up. We just click, once you click on it, you can drag and drop, or you can just click on it to appear. If you go to the uploads, then you, you can shape in it the way you want. You can move it with the document. You can, like, you can move it. You can put it in here. And straight, we have our simple notebook, unicorn notebook. So you may just uh, either do this one, add unicorn to this. Unicorn notebook. So now you need to make it small so that it can fit perfect. So unicorn notebook, it may come here. <clears throat> and the unicorn will take center stage. And you can also change this color. This is not the only color. You can go here and change the colors and go here and change the colors change the colors of this to see how it matches to your designs then you can change the back color and all those stuff so once you're done with it you can also go back and change pretty sure just change this one the color if you are okay with the design you can change this design to make like the color to make it the whole color and you still have your designs here. So this is one way of doing the interiors, like your covers, and giving them shapes. The other way too is, if you are done, maybe you finish, just download it. So maybe you have your size. This is our size, right? We have our size. You can go to elements, and you don't want to import this one, you can go on to elements, go to grids. So we're going to create another. So once you go to grids, you go to this, this one. So maybe you have a background that you want to import into so that you can use the background to work on. So you go to grids, this is the grids, and you pick the, this one, which has two sides. You just click on it. It fills this one, which has two sides. So now it tells you this is the front cover, this is the front cover, this is the back cover. And you can easily just start working on this if you have a background that you want to bring onto it. So let's look at some backgrounds that we want to use. So we go on to Pixabay. So Pixabay. And we get some backgrounds. So maybe let's say we want uh, patterns one pattern so you just type in patterns they give you all the patterns we have here if anyone any of the patterns gets our attention we will use that for notebooks okay this is a nice pattern hope you agree with me a very nice pattern so we want to use this for our note uh, book we want to use this for our book cover so all you need to do is 
you just download it based on the size that you want. So it going to it. So once it's finished downloading, you click on it and you see the pattern. This is the pattern we are using. So you import the pattern into uh, Canva where you are working, the working document. We already have this. Then you do uploads. Upload an image. So it is in our downloads. So we see it in our downloads, the downloaded file. Then the pattern, you just do this, upload it. It goes straight to your working documents. So we want to use the background here to fill in the spaces. So you click on it and you try to drag it to where you want to fill it in. So the first page, I want it in the first page. You pretty have it. So the pattern is here. You can drag it to position some of the things that you want to do. Great. So you have a pattern that you can use. You can also click on this one, bring it here, and you have a nice pattern. Make it make sure that it fills. So now you have your patterns. And uh, this is what most of these books have used. They just use a pattern uh, like this one. This is a pattern, and they've just added the words. Some of them, like, all these are patterns that they just like uh, backgrounds that they just use, like this one, and they just make it work. So you can also get image, background images on Canva, photos that you can use for free. And you can also use elements. So now that you have your pattern, you need to add a text. So you can see that there's no place to add text. So if you add text to this, it may not look good or professional. You go back to patterns. You go to elements, go up to shapes, and you pick. You can use this one or any shape that catches your attention. I'm going to use this. You shape in it a little. Then you pick it up to where you want to add the text. Where you want to add the text. So this one, I want to add text here, right? So you can change the color of this to maybe black or any of the colors here. So let's see this color or this, you can change it to any of the colors. Then once you have the color, you try to make sure that you reduce the transparency a little like this so that it's not too transparent. People can see the image or the background. You can make it black too to see how it looks like. So this is not bad, but it may not serve our purpose. So you just need to explore. Okay, this is okay. Then you add the text. So you go to text and you add text. So now what we want to do is we want to do prayer journal. So you can just type in prayer and uh, you fit it in so you can see we fit trying to fit it in by the tip so you shipping it to get the type of prayer journal you want you can change the text maybe let's choose this text great change the text size and uh, you can also change the size of the text to make sure it is fit. Then you can also tweak it. The transparency, you can work on the transparency of this and change the colors to see which one fits. Okay, create journalist. So let's say we'll make the text white to see. So pray journal, people can see this. Or you can also go back and uh, change the text size to, to see how it is going to match. Or you can pick one of the colors, like this one, and see. Then you make sure you brighten it to see how it's going to look. And if it's not giving you the best, just make sure you cancel the transparency and leave So I think this is okay. This is okay. Prayer journal, as simple as it is, people will be able to buy. 
Then you can also add some uh, nice elements to it. So there's an element I always use, this one. So once you go on to one of them, the lines or the elements, you see this element, which you just bring it, just click on it to add shaping it, send it this way, and boom, you have an element that is covering this. So you can sh change the color of this to make it look flexible, reflective, and to make it look nice. So we have our prayer journal. So once you have this, but make sure that because this one, the spine is not defined, make sure that you don't cross this. You don't cross the middle, or you can just work towards this. So you have the spine and uh, you work on this. You can also change the background. So maybe any image that you have, you can go to the photos here, or you can also go to backgrounds. Canva has some backgrounds, nice backgrounds that you can use. Just go onto the backgrounds and uh, see the one that you feel like you can also bring on board to see. Just change this, changes it, and uh, the background is there. So this is the background of Canva, but that's not what we want to use. So you can do a lot of things, add images, add uploads, pick different images that you have in your backlog. So I'll, you can go to Creative Fabrica, you can go to different places to buy images, or you can download free images on uh, Pixabay. So once you're done, so I'm just going to change the background once a bit for you to see how nice it is. So I have some backgrounds that in, I have some nice backgrounds I've been working on. And you can see them. Okay, some of them are here. But pretty same, you just have your interior. So because we are doing many books, all you just need to do is, because you are doing, using one interior to do many books, all you just need to do is to keep changing the background and keep changing the colors of the background. So once you finish, you download this one, go to downloads, download a PDF, print PDF, you go back, then you get different backgrounds. So you can get different backgrounds in different places. You drag it in, you get this background, you drag this one to in here, and you have a different interior altogether. So you have different interior, and uh, you can see that it's very nice. You can change this one to make, to give it that yellowish feel or you can change it to any different color. And you have a different interior, which you download and publish. And once you publish this, you go to the backgrounds again, pick another background, drag and drop it. Just drop, fill it. And you have a different background. But here you can change the text color. You can change the text color to make sure that it's something that is reactive. So you have another prayer journal. Then you download it, you upload onto KDF. And once you upload it, let me show you. This is how it looks like. They have this and they have all those things. So pretty same. This is one of the ways that you can create your KDP covers. And this is a knowledge that once you have this, you can teach others and you can upload thousands and thousands of books without going to Fiverr to buy gigs. And this is how pretty same the people in Fiverr to create the covers you, uh, you, 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 you buy from them. So please take your time, watch the video over and over, practice and practice and practice. And sometimes you can go onto YouTube to type on certain uh, elements and also learn on them to add. You may not get it the first time, but you can keep getting it small ones after the ones. And you can also keep in touch. Call me for a one on one also for me to take you through where you're getting any confusion. Then send me a text and let me know. If you are finding it difficult, then I'll coach and guide you. 
Thank you for your time. I believe in you. I believe in the power of your dreams. So let's meet again.